Hello and welcome to the Analyst Corner offered to you by One One Blockchains. I am Enrico Camerinelli, VP of Research, and the topic of discussion is Hyperledger versus Ethereum. Enterprise blockchain platforms like Hyperledger Fabric and Ethereum are already making headlines every day. That's why it's necessary that we analyze and compare Hyperledger Fabric versus Ethereum. Let's first quickly recap the two frameworks. Hyperledger Fabric is one of the most popular projects under the umbrella of the Hyperledger project. The Hyperledger Fabric architecture is permissioned and private. It's a suitable solution for enterprises that need a level of privacy to run their sensitive information operations. Hyperledger Fabric lets you create separate channels that offer private transaction options. You can't access a channel without the proper level of access. The benefits of Hyperledger Fabric are, first of all, that Hyperledger Fabric is open source. Hyperledger Fabric is suitable for a wide range of industry sectors. Hyperledger Fabric comes with a set of quality software code as the Hyperledger community privileges quality over quantity. Finally, modular design is by far the most attractive feature of Hyperledger Fabric. You can change the consensus algorithms, ledger types, add tokens, and add up other functionalities. You can also have multiple consensus mechanism for multiple reasons, such as one for transactions, one for user identity, and so on. And what about Ethereum? Ethereum is a global and open source platform for decentralized applications. You can think of it as the programmable version of the Bitcoin blockchain. Ethereum is a public platform, which makes it not so compelling for enterprises that seek for privacy. The transaction processes go through the Ethereum virtual machine. Basically, this software executes certain scripts within a distributed network of devices. Finally, Ethereum architecture enables developers to build decentralized applications on top of it. And now it's time to assess Hyperledger Fabric versus Ethereum. Both platforms do a great job in their respective fields. The comparison starts with the ledger type. Hyperledger Fabric is a permissioned platform. So that means that it's not for the public eye and it's best suited for enterprises as it can offer the privacy level they need through the channels architecture. On the other hand, Ethereum is a public platform. Users won't have to pass any membership rules in order to get access to the network. Thus, it's not entirely suited for enterprises. In terms of governance, the Linux Foundation is the governing entity behind, behind Hyperledger Fabric. Many argue that since they took a major contribution from IBM, Hyperledger Fabric should be called an IBM blockchain. Despite this, Hyperledger Fabric is undoubtedly also a product of a massive collaboration from multiple industries and companies under the supervision and governance of the Hyperledger project. On the other hand, the Ethereum developers are behind the governing entity of the Ethereum platform. The Ethereum platform can be resembled more as an in-house, although very large, development rather than the product of collaboration among industry sector-wide companies. In terms of throughput, you can expect Hyperledger Fabric to process over 2,000 transactions every second. Hyperledger Fabric can achieve this score because it offers parallel transactions and it is permissioned structured, limits the number of users in the system, ensuring a low risk of downtime. Ethereum can pull off a large number of transactions when a small number of nodes is engaged. But as it's a public domain, the number of nodes can increase at any moment, thus slowing down the performance of the network. A typical permissionless Ethereum configuration offers something close to 20 transactions per second. Another difference between Hyperledger Fabric and Ethereum consists in the use of cryptocurrencies. Hyperledger Fabric doesn't have any native token or cryptocurrency needed to run the platform. However, if a company needs to create a token-based system, they can easily add it up. Ethereum comes with a native cryptocurrency called Ether, used to pay for the gas token that is used to run transactions. Consensus mechanism is another element of comparison. Hyperledger Fabric's consensus mechanism comes with a wide range of consensus algorithms, pluggable options, 
in multiple ledger formats. Natively, Hyperledger Fabric uses the Kafka consensus algorithm. The latest version 2.0 of Hyperledger Fabrics adopts the Raft protocol. Ethereum's consensus mechanism, ETHash, is an upgraded version of the proof of work algorithm. As any proof of work consensus mechanism, it takes up a lot of resources and can slow down. Ethereum was the first blockchain protocol to enable the execution of smart contracts using Solidity as the coding language. Hyperledger Fabric also offers a smart contracts feature known as chain code. Chain codes are used to build and execute the business logic of the Hyperledger Fabric platform. Hyperledger Fabric offers Gulang, Java, and Node.js to write chain codes. Finally, from a use case perspective, Ethereum is mostly popular for decentralized applications, and that's why there are thousands of applications on top of Ethereum. Hyperledger Fabric, on the other hand, is fairly new and has a more limited number of use case applications if compared with Ethereum. This table summarizes the characteristics of both platforms. Hyperledger Fabric is more suited for enterprise applications, while Ethereum's permissionless structure makes it more suitable for public and open structures where the demand for privacy is not that strong. However, Ethereum has now evolved to accommodate the use of a private version of its technology called Enterprise Ethereum under the supervision of the Enterprise Ethereum Alliance member-driven standards organization. Like in the Hyperledger project community, companies join the Ethereum Enterprise Alliance and work together to develop enterprise solutions. So in conclusion, Ethereum and Hyperledger Fabric are two very unique blockchain platforms in the market. With their decentralized and distributed ledger architectures, they are both capable of resolving the issues left open by centralized systems. The Hyperledger project and the Enterprise Ethereum Alliance are already collaborating on a series of solutions to make them interoperable. So, rather than the differences, we should look at the respective points of strength and take advantage of them once the protocols will be fully interoperable. So this concludes the analyst corner offered to you by 1-1 Blockchains. I am Enrico Camerinelli, VP of Research.